This weirdo has just been sitting here in this fucking car for a good half an hour. Just paused. This place has been closed for an hour. I've been sitting here for about 40, 45 minutes. And this weirdo is just sitting here with this fucking car idle, just staring in the fucking rearview mirror at me like a fucking psycho. The license plate, as you can see it. Let me show you what, the, what this looks like here. This area here, this store is closed. So this parking lot should be empty. There's other places to park where stuff is open, but for whatever reason, and we all know what, this motherfucker sitting over here in this parking lot, like I said, staring at me out of his rear view mirror. And it could be a bitch too. They all crazy as well. But all these areas are, are free. You got Kane's over here who who's still open and there's a huge parking lot there that nobody's really in. But this bitch is sitting over here in this parking lot been like idling and wasting gas and polluting the fucking air for a good 30 fucking minutes. And I'm not doing nothing but sitting here just looking at my phone. Looking at emails and shit. This motherfucker just sitting here like a fucking psycho. So while I'm on here, I'm just gonna talk about something really quick. This location reminds me of this. So I think it was last week, I was over here and, and the same shit was going on. And I posted some videos about it. And this uh, this person who I believe is a perp, but you know, who knows? He could just be a weirdo as well. At these days, it really doesn't matter. You could be a weirdo, you could just be retarded, or you could be a perp, you know, that's the bag. But I was posting this and I was talking about, you know, how I was being stalked or whatever as I was sitting here and he was messaging me. He was commenting to my video and he was like, why are you out there? You don't need to be out there. You know, that's unsafe. And, you know, I told him, I was like, you know, I don't have a choice. You know, I'm homeless right now. And so he was just like, oh, how long have you been homeless? And I answered that. And then he was like, what's that location anyway? Where are you? And so I didn't respond to that because I just thought that that was a weird question. You know what I'm saying? Like, why does it matter? Unless you're in this area, like, or in this state, why would it matter what, what the location is? So then he was like, what state are you in? And I told him because I'd already said it in one of my videos. And so he messaged me a couple more times and was like, yeah, you need to get out of that situation, blah, blah, blah. And then like literally the next day, this dude uh, messaged me and was like, you don't know what I'm going through and you don't know, just a whole bizarre weirdo message. And then he goes on to say in the message that he's erasing all of his messages that he sent to me because a lot of times, you know, YouTube you know, pretends or something or another, he said. Basically, it made me feel like he was suggesting that I was a fake. So I was like, okay, well, are you saying that you don't believe that I'm a real target or what's, I don't get your message. He's like, well, I sent you a message and it was deleted. Okay. You're a target. You don't understand that we're still being spied on? Like, really? So then he goes on to like literally erase all of his messages that he sent to me so that it's almost like we never even had any type of conversations and he uh he talked to me like conversed with me back and forth on my videos for about 72 hours about three days and then like i said it all stopped and he did that 
So the point of me telling you guys this, now his name was Hard Target, <laughs> is there is a group of black men that's on YouTube on the platform who are pimps and they are recruiters for sex trafficking. They um, they pretend to be Christians and they may very well be because you know we all know how the Christians roll a lot of times hiding behind that title but really being the wicked of the wicked and uh, the black his Hebrew Israelites and now I had personal experiences with a lot of these men um, when I first started releasing my videos on a channel that you know I had previously um, and so I had a lot of negative interaction with these men and that's how I ended up finding out uh, who they were and what they were doing and this man's behavior was extremely indicative of how they operate. Like, I'm already being harassed. I'm already being targeted for trafficking. I'm already being assaulted. I'm already, you know, I'm GPS, I'm satellite tracked, you know, the whole nine. So there's not a lot of recruiting that needs to be done where I'm concerned. And I feel like that was the reason why he did the whole 72 hour concern act and then once he got the information that he needed about who I was and the fact that I was already being uh, trafficked, he decided to move on to other, you know, to, to other water. And he wanted to make sure that there was no evidence of him talking to me or no um, residue of him, uh, him and I having any type of interaction or any type of conversation. Now, <laughs> if you feel like, you know, that it was something else and you are totally entitled to your opinion on that subject I mean that's that's neither here nor there for me like I said I've been in this since 2017 and when people start acting and behaving in that way I know what's up um, I'm constantly being tracked and monitored by these men uh, they're constantly coming on my channel a lot of times they'll come as a as the same individual or they'll use a different uh, channel or a fake profile to try to communicate with me or talk to me because like I said I mean this has been going on for a long time they've been tracking and following me for a very long time um, and as long as this is going on um, it's gonna be the same people essentially uh, stalking and monitoring that being said I'm just gonna you know give this warning out to those who want to listen um, be, be very careful about who you talk to be very careful about the information that you exchange with these people as far as your location as far as your your relationship with your family members or your friends giving these people the information that you're all alone and you're all by yourself that probably wouldn't be a great idea even if that is the truth because understand that this platform however it might be positive for you to get on and talk about what's happening to you and possibly get um, justice and exposed and that's what you should be using it for it is also a public forum. So all these creeps and psychos and weirdos and people who are just disgusting and who are involved in this program can also get on and watch and lurk and, and, and uh, participate in trying to recruit you or trying to further uh, es essentially put you in a bad place. And I truly believe that that is the plan for a lot of the women on this platform is to try to get you, you know, synced up with uh, trafficking. Um, and like I said, if you notice certain patterns, you know, as far as like, you know, how you're being monitored, you know, you got guys coming on your, your channel trying to talk about linking up and, you know, what state are you in? What city are you in? Yeah, I understand. I've been going through the same. Watch out. Especially if they claim to be a Hebrew Israelite or a hardcore Christian because they feel like if they tell you this that it's going to disarm you and you're going to be trusting of them and usually that works so just be very careful be very mindful of who you're talking to and what you're talking about 